Hi, I'm Felix. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use proxy scenes with smart refs for 3ds Max. Proxy scenes is a powerful technique that until now was not possible to use within 3ds Max. With xrefs, you could use proxies in references, but only by objects, and that's actually very limited. With smart refs, you could have, for example, a huge scene with thousands of objects and have a proxy for that scene with only 10 objects or even less. So you could give an animator a very basic proxy scene that is fast to load and fast to play in the viewport. And only in the render time, the full scene with thousands of objects and textures is loaded, making so the production pipeline a lot faster. And uh, let's reference a scene to see how it works. Here I have this building, and as you can see, it has hundreds of objects and a lot of textures. If we need to use this object as a background for animation, we could use a very basic proxy for it, so the animator will have a lighter scene to work with. This is very useful, and even more if we need a neighbor full of buildings like this. Now, to set the proxy, I go to the Smart Refs dialog and select the proxy file here. Nothing has changed until now, but if I click in using viewport, the proxy file is loaded instead. And if I keep the using render unchecked, every time that I render, the main reference file will appear instead. If I keep the master scene like this, it'll be very fast to load and work with because the proxy file is the one being loaded by default. The main reference file instead will load only at render time. Now, I'm going to show you another example here. And with this one, you can see how powerful this tool could be. In this case, I reference a wrecked robotic arm. And uh, as you can see, it has a lot of objects and a complex setup. And uh, it even has some skinned meshes around here. If I have more of these in the same scene, it could be impossible to work with in real time because the frame rate will drop dramatically. Now, I will select the proxy file for this one. What I have to make sure is to have a rig with the same logic as the main one, having the same names for the shared control objects and keeping the same distances and proportions. This one will be a lot easier to animate. Just like this. And um, as you can see now, if I load the, the main reference file, it keeps the same animation. I can just leave the proxy in the viewport and load the main file only at render time. Then again, you have to make sure that both scenes, the main and the proxy, have sharing components. In this case, the rig. That must have the same logic and control objects with the same names in both scenes. Now, what happens if you need to modify objects that only exist in the main reference file and not in the proxy? You can also do that. For example, uh, let's load the main scene in the viewport and let's change the size of some screws around here. If I load the proxy and the main file again, those changes are still kept. And even if those objects are not present for a while. You can change anything, by the way. Not only the transformations, you can change, for example, materials, modifiers, object properties, whatever you want. I hope you find this useful. If you haven't tried Smart Refs, give it a go and see how your production pipeline can improve a lot by using this powerful tool for 3ds Max. Thanks for watching and um, watch the other videos in this channel or go to smartrefs.com to know more.